black guards, victims of bigotry by jail staff gang. That's what you call it. Black correctional officers from the Maryland Correctional Training Center in Hagerstown, Maryland. They filed a lawsuit alleging that a group of white guards fostered a hostile working environment. According to the lawsuit filed in July, a gang of white guards calling themselves 40 West discriminated against immigrant and black employees at the correctional facility. Daily Record reports that the complaint was filed under the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act or RICO. Okay, I know a prosecutor in Georgia can call if you need help prosecuting this one. She'd love to consult, I'm sure. She's a little busy. She might have time for this. Accuses the white gang of subjecting black and brown correctional officers to frequent racial slurs. Black and brown correctional officers also miss out on overtime promotions too because of the coordinated efforts by white officers. An attorney for one of the plaintiffs, Edith Thomas, said that the white gang's guards has been engaging in illegal behavior for decades and is also known as the 40 West Whites and a black star unpacking it for us. Upon information and belief, a group of Caucasian COs organized to engage in illegal behavior, said Thomas in the complaint, and to take administrative control of MCTC by creating a race-based gang called 40 West, 40 West Boys and or 40 West Gang, decades prior to the present. Suit which was transferred to federal court this week claims members of the 40 West Gang have included some high ranking officers at MCTC, that officers who are part of the group use Masonic imagery to identify each other. One of the guards reportedly has a tattoo of a swastika. I guess that's just a coincidence, huh? Plaintiffs claim that the 40 West guards called them racial slurs, including the N-word. And they were told, go back to your country and we don't want blacks here. Guards were also subjected to white guards making monkey noises over the prison intercom. Racial taunts are not merely occasional, but insidious, serving as a relentless soundtrack to their workday. The lawsuit states, there are brazen taunts when white officers mimic monkey noises over the intercom and directly at their black colleagues. This conduct is not covert or hushed. It is flamboyantly displayed and bragged about consequence free, spanning all ranks within the institution. Now, the Maryland Correctional Training Center has had allegations of corruption in the past. Another group of the guards known as the Hagerstown Eight were fired or demoted after they beat six inmates at the facility back in 1982. Black inmates were ordered to call the white guards master as they were put into their cells, according to the Washington Post. Inmates used to call the prison due to the racism problem at the facility. Plaintiffs claim 40 West guards worked together to assist one another in getting overtime over the black guards, as well as immigrant guards. They also claim that the gang helped each other earn promotions and training that benefited their careers and targeted black and brown guards for misconduct, while white guards infractions were ignored. Daily Beast reports that at least 25 white guards are suspected of being part of this racist gang. Plaintiffs assert that the preferential treatment of the 40 West defendants, blatant, contributes to a severe Pervasive hostile work environment of people of color, immigrants, and others who do not and cannot belong to the group, states the lawsuit. Correctional services. Well, the Department of Public Safety Correctional Services is accused of ignoring the black officers' complaints, causing them to be retaliated against. The DPSCS wrote in a statement that the department is aware of the complaints alleged in the suit and is investigating the serious claims. The DPSCS also noted that they could not comment further due to pending litigation. What they're investigating, Jackson, is likely, likely, who told, who leaked this one, who ratted it out, who found the lawyer. That's what they're doing. One of those fruit flies got in here. Oh and yeah, they just magic. They and and yeah, and, and, yeah, yeah. They I, they just like appear out of nowhere. I definitely know what that's like. But um, but yeah, no, and this kind of goes back to what we talked about before about how in the prison system, not only um, do inmates kind of get overlooked, but also the staff does as well, because these aren't places that the public generally goes to visit. You know, people don't go to prisons, people don't go to jails unless they're visiting family or friends or something like that. 
It's not places that people go, which means that you can get away with things like this a lot easier. That's why uh, when you look at, you know, like nursing homes, a lot, they'll have issues with people abusing uh, the elderly uh, patients there, the people who live there. Why? Because they can, because they can get away with it. And so when you're in a situation like that, you can attract bad apples. You can attract people who are, you know, kind of sadistic and out to do stuff like that. Uh, so this is another reflection of what happens when you just kind of brand people as not worth anything. Boy, you ain't you ain't lie. Okay. And I think it's the it's this unknown world of terror that leaves people without hope and desperate. And it's gotta be called out. 